Hi, welcome to my tiny, tiny kitchen. And for today, I have a special guest and I'll be making like hot chocolate right now. And it's gonna be a very special hot chocolate. I haven't made it before, so go on. Uh, let's uh, see if it does, it turns out well. So here, uh, I have my special guest here. That's bacon. Say hey, hi, bacon. So it's Chef Bacon, and he's gonna help me. And of course, I have to pay him after this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Sky. Uh, I might have to buy her uh, also Chef's uh, Chef's costume as well. But this is bacon. And in the future, maybe Sky will earn her Chef's. Um, the thing about Sky, she can't stay still though and that's why it's kind of hard to film her see as you can see she keeps moving so bacon um he is going to be my assistant chef and we're going to be making like uh city bakeries hot chocolate so he's gonna help me and right bacon and as uh alice um reward he gets to eat this one it's guy so this guy's just gonna be chilling. She's not gonna do anything, just staying cute. He's gonna do all the work and then <laughs> they're gonna have this afterwards, right? So that will be your reward bacon for helping me out. But we're gonna be making two meals today, but I'm gonna make separate videos. What we will need for the City Bakery. So City Bakery was, um, it was a bake shop in New York and I think at the time I worked there, it closed down. It closed down many years ago and uh, unfortunately I didn't try their hot chocolate and I heard it was really really good and decadent. So we will use um, this dark chocolate. It, uh, for some reason the uh, recipe call, calls for cornstarch. Uh, of course uh, some salt and sugar and I think we are supposed to have vanilla. Let me see if my vanilla is not missing. To the car because I was just in the grocery and I think I dropped this in the car. So you need vanilla, uh, sugar, salt, and uh, red mug. If, uh, so it's festive. Maybe we don't any mug will do. And I have like this mixing bowl. It's a very expensive mixing bowl, but you know, I can find one. I can probably pass this down to my great 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 kids uh, in a saucepan over there. Yeah, and this is whipping cream. So any whipping cream will do. It's just really to make it really extra special. And I might even make a special s'mores one. We'll see. You know, depends on how I feel. Um, we might even make a s'mores covered one. Um, no, a s'mores topped one with, of course, the whipping cream. I forgot the most important part, which is the milk. So we will be using two cups whole milk, two teaspoon cornstarch, just two teaspoon cornstarch, two tablespoon uh, sugar, uh, sea salt, a uh, splash of vanilla, and four ounces of dark chocolate. So, yeah, so this one is 10 ounces, so I might just get like a little bit of half of this one. Um, yeah, so maybe less than like half and half of this one and we'll melt it in our saucepan. And this is going to act as our saucepan. Hopefully this mix will do the trick. It's very, very dirty. I don't have a saucepan. I looked for it in a grocery. I couldn't find a saucepan. That's the only thing I can find. This bowl, which is, will probably last several lifetimes for sure. It's heavy, it's stainless steel, you know. This uh, a couple months ago, um, thinking I was gonna go camping, so I got like a s'mores maker and a s'mores kit, and then some tongs. Um, the tongs are in here. I was thinking I was gonna make s'mores, but you know what? I think s'mores will look good with chocolate. So Bacon over there is like whimpering. He wants to eat already. Um, so I might make s'mores to top it with my hot chocolate. I'm wondering where he got his uh, chef's costume. He actually got it through Etsy. I'll send a link below. She was really nice and she could probably do the business. 
uh, help with the business or you know let's help her out and bacon seems to like it it's like um yeah he's gonna we're gonna be making more doggy cooking videos right bacon so anyway uh we'll heat up the uh chocolate right bubba yeah he can't wait he can't actually dogs can't eat chocolate but he can eat the chicken right bacon and so i have this double boiler method uh, hot water here boiling hot water and the chocolate inside but it really depends because i have one of those like nasty <laughs> i really don't like it induction cookers and yeah so this one is actually um melting now but you know uh, i put four ounces approximately four ounces um a little slightly over don't go crazy with the chocolate again use dark chocolate uh, you can buy this at the grocery uh, there's baking uh, chocolate and I think that's what you use um, you can also use your favorite dark chocolate but I think um, this one is really meant for baking stuff you know and it has it's good um, rather than the ready-made chocolate so this one is really good okay and I will mix up my ingredients after this melts or when this melts to we'll add some milk to this one a splash of milk just to help it with the process and the rest of the milk um, I have the rest of the milk here I will mix cornstarch with this um, so a little bit of the two teaspoons cornstarch and then after that we'll put the sugar it's like we want this to be sweet and I'm gonna add the rest of the milk and I'm gonna whisk away some milk and two tablespoon of or no teaspoon not tablespoon two teaspoons of cornstarch it's just as a thickener or thickening agent and then the brown sugar or sugar uh, white sugar cane sugar whatever kind of sugar you want the milk in now and I'm gonna mix the um, cornstarch milk so before you put the cornstarch in make sure you put it in some liquid especially milk and then before you combine it so it doesn't form clumps I have to transfer this to a saucepan now because it's uh, the chocolate that's melted I only did that to melt the chocolate the dark chocolate because I didn't want it to burn you know uh, yeah so one um, added sugar and we'll just mix it up and we'll heat it in uh, actual saucepan and we won't do the double boiler method uh, we don't we won't do the double uh, boiler method heat so I transferred it already uh, medium to high heat um, so just medium heat so you don't burn it and then it's uh, we'll just wait for it to not really boil boil but just re get really hot and I'm just gonna keep on stirring it and I'm gonna add a splash of vanilla so I'm adding a splash of vanilla Ooh, that might be a lot of, and just some salt, I guess, um, just to balance out the flavors, you know, and that's it. We'll just wait for this to come to a very light boil. A topping for my hot chocolate, and this is the s'mores kit, Hershey's s'mores kit. I think I got it for like 10, 15 bucks or something. I put some marshmallows, um, you know, graham crackers, and... Um, Hershey's chocolate. It's pretty good. You should have this one. So the principle is that you uh, put the uh, marshmallow and the chocolate in between the graham crackers. But we will use this one, an electric s'mores maker, to toast and melt the marshmallow. And this, as you can see, it's there's plastic there. I think it is the trays and you plug this in and it comes with its tongs so I didn't really need to buy extra tongs but I just really wanted to I might make fondue one of these days uh, you know fondue really sounds fun because uh, it's fall uh, definitely need more stuff you know hot stuff so I will turn this on now so I plug it in it's supposed to heat up so be careful this is going to heat up um, and so I set it, this up Set this up. So, yeah. Let's see. 
and I will roast the marshmallows. Hopefully, oh, oh no, it's already, wow, it's already steaming. It's taking a while to heat, so I don't know. Uh, oh, how long are you supposed to stay here? I'll just wait for it to really heat up, you know? Uh, just, let's just wait. See, the coil is heating up, so let's see. It's hot enough. It's, it's still not hot. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. It is hot. I guess this doesn't really roast it. It just melts it. I don't know. Yeah. So I was thinking that it was going to roast it, but who knows, you know. Oh, it's kind of taking longer than I thought. And I think you can do, oh, it's happening. It is happening. I didn't think it would happen, but it's happening. It is actually roasting it. Here, let's see. You have to be pretty close to the foil, uh, coil, not the foil, coil. You have to be close to the coil though. See, not too close. Not too close because it will stick. So, <laughs> as you can see, I have very steady hands. It's kind of hard. Okay, we're just gonna give it that. Okay, and then we will put this here, marshmallow here. Marshmallow. Good. Whoa, wow. Okay. It's working. Let's do roast another one. Okay, make sure that. It's really hot now, so be careful. This is uh, an open flame. Uh, I guess if you're camping and you have a stainless steel cup, uh, you can use this one to heat something. It's pretty hot, yeah. You can definitely use this. You can improvise and use this, you know, for heating stuff. Whoa, uh-oh. <laughs> I think this is the hottest part here, I think. Not happening is so it's not happening as fast as I'd like I was like thinking like whoa but yeah don't stick close to it otherwise it will melt and stick here I can do this oh I can actually feel the flame uh, not the flame the heat here. I think stick to where the coils are I think Okay, yeah. Stay close to where the coils are. I think it heats faster on the uh, where the coils are. See? Okay, now we have the technique. It'll just achieve some of that browning thing. Make sure you have your chocolate here and your graham crackers so because this will oh, help melt it. Whoa, whoa. Be careful this is hot. Do not be okay, make that sandwich. There you go. I think I'll just make two and I'll have to unplug it. It's really getting hot. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I unplugged it from that side to so this one. So here is the final product. Here's the final product. Here's the final product, and I will put this all together. So that was a lot of work for just making s'mores and hot chocolate. It's like melted now, so it's hot and decadent. Uh, so here, it's kind of hard to um, cook and film at the same time. There you go. Very decadent. Oh my god, I think. Yeah, I'll just, it's really decadent, I tasted it. Thank you, actually just add more water if you'd like. Um, just a little bit of more, not water, but milk, you know, uh, if you feel that it is too thick. So we're gonna top it with this one here. Oh, I hope it sticks, there one. And, oh, whoa. <laughs> I don't know how they do this in Russia. But let's see, oh 
okay. I don't know how they do that thing, but yeah, okay, okay, not working. It's like, okay, too top heavy, I think, yeah. Oh, okay, it's gonna fall, whoa. <laughs> so, okay, that's working for now. You can use a longer stick and stuff. And of course, here's our whipped cream. That's enough to uh, feed an entire army or anything. Uh, you can just dust it up. But that is my decadent hot chocolate with s'mores. The topping <laughs> doesn't. Yeah, I have to find another technique to do that. But this is really good. I'll be drinking this. So let's try this out. Boy, this is really good hot chocolate. Mmm. Mm. This is really good, really good hot chocolate. <laughs> You're gonna have a mustache after. And yeah, I'm gonna eat the s'mores. It's really, okay. Mm. Really good. I really recommend this. Uh, make this um, and put a little spin on it if you like, but this is it and uh, I have to think Bacon for helping me out. Where is he? I think he has ADHD, so he's he's somewhere. So Bacon was running away from his doggy duties. Doggy cooking, hey? Yep. <laughs> he's like, okay, I'm done. 